So, Strobe Eye DIY, I've got this going on, Ford Focus. Uh, we've got that trim missing and the boot mechanism switch and the lights, everything's all over the place. So we're gonna have to replace all that. Uh, so start off opening the boot and you've got Torx and a Torx there as well. Uh, so we're gonna undo them and should, that trim should just come off. So once you've got the torque screws out, this literally just pulls off, as you can see. It's got these clips and they just go into uh, the holes in places like that. They just go into there. It just literally pulls off. Uh, there's your uh, wiper motor, all the wiring, stuff like that. So it's these bits here that we've got to try and get off. So we'd be doing that from the other side, by the look of it. So we've got to get these off. 10 mil, 10 mil nuts. Uh, one, two, looks like it's four. Uh, you can just go through this bit here, get them off and they should just fall out, hopefully. So these are all the brackets, broken brackets. So what one out of here, six altogether, not four, I thought there were four, there was only four, but six. Uh, so I've got to try and get these out of there, probably gonna to have to break them, sm smash them up. And they, that bit there, the round bit, has to slot into the bracket like that. So I've got to put that, probably clean it up, it looks a bit rusty. Uh, clean it up, put it in the new one, and hopefully that will just slot straight back in uh, to the other one. It's an aftermarket part I've got, so hopefully it'll fit. So yeah, I've got six of those to do. So these are what I've got now. I've got six of these, and those will, after one, we'll clean them up. Those will fit into the, uh, into the new trim and just slot in. Uh, I'd recommend, I always have some of these anyway. These are the 3M sticky tabs uh, which is ideal for bodywork stuff uh, I always have these knocking around because they're great to reinforce your uh, whatever trims you're putting on and stuff so uh, quite similar to what the manufacturers use anyway uh, just to uh, and it's good for cushioning and soundproofing as well so yeah get some of those so the next bit is to apply this to the new trim uh, put these in the new trim and put it on the body Hopefully, it will fit just nicely. Right, so we're going to uh, fit the screws and I've got the screws out and they just slide in like that. Uh, we've got a couple of new lights, registration plate lights. Uh, they're LED ones, so I've upgraded them a little bit and they these ones just slot straight into the, uh, into the bulb holder. Well, they should do anyway, hopefully they will. Uh, so yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some sticky tabs on them as well, on these screws to hold them in place, uh, which I've got, which I've got, excuse me, I've got myself. so I've got these 3M things and we've got a little few of them on, put them on, so hopefully, and then I'll just screw it all back in, it'll fit in and screw back in. Right, so this is on, all the bolts are in on the other side, so the only thing left to do is the lights are in as well, which work lovely. It's just to put, it's only one way, that just goes in. And then, you've got spring action on one side, spring action on another, and they just push in. And that should be it. So we'll do that next. So, we're all back on. The only thing I've got to do is, it doesn't quite fit properly. So I'm going to put a bead of uh, bead of something along here just to make it more tight. Uh, but overall, that's the trouble with aftermarket parts; they don't quite fit properly. Uh, but overall, it's not a bad job, and it does the job anyway. So because you can get into, into your boot, there you go.